Okay, so now you know Russia Dortmund, they're not smiling. Action from the German Bundesliga. Let's get on with the show. Uh, Toby Manuel joins us now. Toby, good to have you join us on the program. Uh, great to be here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a raining day. I know, everywhere. It's, yeah, it's been raining for a while now, so yeah, it's, it's, to it. Yeah, it's, uh, but it's, it's cool today, not as uh, terrible like last week. Okay. Toby, let's, let's, get, let's talk about the English Premier League fixture for tonight. What do you think? Chelsea going on Leicester City. Leicester City, for me, they found their reading. With Limani scoring two goals. Mm. And uh, uh, even though our own Ahmed Musa was on the bench throughout, yeah. uh, we, we saw the, the flair, the energy Mares trying to put, you know, all of them trying to come back to rediscover the form. You know, then they were underdogs. But now they've come to stay. People mm -hmm. have known them, mm -hmm. even though they lost woefully to uh, Rapid in Liverpool. But for, for, for Chelsea, I'm very worried for Chelsea because Conte's style, tactical approach in the midfield has been the biggest problem. I don't see Phantom, the rationale behind that, keeping Fabregas on the bench, mm -hmm. playing two defensive midfielder and just one uh, uh, attacking midfielder, and you can't get the goal. So, but uh, in substitution also. Uh, we're coming too late. Yeah. Uh, but it's a great match. If he's not careful, Leicester might, be, might shock them again. But uh, I see the match going. It's an open match that either yeah, of the side can win. Well. Yeah, so you can just get knocked out you know, if you don't turn up on the night. Uh, it, you don't have a chance to say hey, you, you, you regroup and uh, re-strategize. Yeah. It, it's, it's a game that uh, Chelsea is under pressure to win. Mm. Okay, yeah. So let's just uh, see the other fixtures in the... English uh, Football League uh, Cup. Bournemouth uh, will play against uh, Preston North End. Uh, Brighton will play against uh, Reading. Derby County versus Liverpool. We expect Liverpool with the form uh, they've been showing in recent weeks uh, to win that one ball. Uh, we know upsets can happen in these uh, cup uh, competitions. Um, Everton will play against Norwich. Leeds United versus uh, Blackburn Rovers. I mean, um, totally Liverpool, Derby County. I mean, you expect any upsets in that one? No, definitely uh, Liverpool is going to get the results. Mm -hmm. Even considering the fact that uh, Klopp might try to use some of those other players who yeah. don't play okay. and rest the big guns. The second mm -hmm. team of Liverpool, they are so good. Yes. Uh, 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 but for me, the, the, the match is Leicester City, Chelsea. Chelsea, that's like, it. Like, like we've seen on the screen, Newcastle, uh, Wolves. It's going to be another tough match from two teams who want to make an impact. And you know, Newcastle, the, Newcastle are rebuilding and making... Uh, uh, striving to come back to the EPL. For yes. Nottingham Forest, a team that have tradition, a team that have gone far uh, in the history of... Uh, yeah, but they've been in Division 1 in the Championship for yeah, a while but, but now. You, you, so you can never say that. If, if Wenger and his boys decide to, 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 to joke with the competition, then I, I see an mm. upset. Oh, but, but, really? but, but for real, Arsenal have what it takes because now they are also trying to rebuild and also, they have few acquisitions. It's just uh, the, the injury, two injury to uh, Giroud and his stupidity for, for getting that uh, unnecessary red card. Yeah. And also, and some of the players, if some Mustafi trying to get balance in the defense and also the midfield, won the, what a fantastic goal by Shaka uh, uh, at the weekend. So they, so, so they, but um, for real, if Wenger decides to play the, the formation, uh, not the kids. Uh, I said I don't have kids again. You're going to do this. <laughs> you say you're fighting kids. You're playing the first or second team. Yeah. But if they don't take their time... The, the cup game is about upsets. Okay. So, um, Arsenal's defense will be you know, going up against uh, Nicolas Bettner. Are you, are you worried? Mm -hmm. It might just come back to on um, Arsene Wenger. Yeah, he, everything depends on the game. But as has the tenacity, they have the capacity, they have the, the, the machineries and also technical ability from Asawenga to just okay. get the result. Uh, it's, it's, no, it's no difficult game for Arsenal. Uh, for, for Arsenal at all. Okay, so let's just go straight to the papers now, Austin. Uh, we'll start with uh, Sports and Life. And, um, yeah, the big story is um, on Arsene Wenga, you know, he's been talking about uh, Alex Iwobi. Iwobi must remain humble. I mean, Iwobi is had a breakout season last year. He started really well again this year, you know, apart from the injury he suffered. And Wenger is just saying he has to keep his feet on the ground. Yeah, he, for Mosu Wenger to, to believe so much in Iwobi, he saw something unique about him and he, he kept faith with him last season and he rewarded him for, for him to also have the confidence to, to, to feature him in the Champions League against uh, Barcelona, yeah. which also brought out his confidence level. You saw what he did at the at the weekend, two good assists, and uh, even though he, he, 
he, he, he had wanted the goal for himself. Uh, for himself. Yeah. The one Sanchez had a little touch that touch. But, but it's good for him. But it, it, it's a good thing for a, a coach to let the player know you are not made yet so that you don't get carried away and he's a professional. Yes. Uh, also, uh, second story there, Ra was, uh, Ra was a Pogumma. Uh, for uh, Eagles, he's a German, German Bobo with Nigerian parentage, uh, and the young man is doing very well. He's ready to play now. You, when you have a country where uh, you're doing well and, and try the stability, a lot of people uh, will want to. We, we saw uh, the young man uh, that uh, Asuni Aluku telling us on this program that uh, a lot of players out there are ready to play for Nigeria, but they are just unsure yeah. uh, about instability and the changes of coaches because with each coaches. <laughs> Come with their own player That's and right. just make one for make one uh, a debut a debut for Nigeria and at the end of the day the coach that invited you is gone mm -hmm. and so you it might take you more to six or five years to make another uh, to play for the country oh. so but it's a good thing that he's he's, he's asking the young man to come okay um, uh, Toby quickly uh, Buhari that's President Buhari L's uh, Paralympic team right. I mean uh, this mm -hmm. guy is deep Nigeria really proud and real the back now in the country I mean. What should they be expecting from the authorities? For, for me, I was privileged to be in 2012. Uh, uh, coach Are Feishetong, yeah. the coach, uh, powerlifting coach, powerlifting coach. Uh, I was privileged to be on the same podium. He was the niche inaugural winner of the Nigerian Sport Award for coach, and uh, I my, myself and Cecilia won the media category. I had a privilege to speak with him. He said, for four good years, they trained with their own resources. Averagely, each player, each of those athletes spends close to two million for their training. Going, eating, you know, they are special athletes, their training facilities, Kids. going around and trying to get into pre preparation. For me, it's good the president is uh, appreciating yeah, them, but you go beyond that. I, 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 Toby, I, I'll just pause you for a minute. We'll continue to talk about the Paralympians. We'll go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue the discussion. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. It's Sports This Morning, broadcasting live from our sports center in Lagos, Nigeria. Toby Manu was talking about the Paralympians and what they achieved at the just concluded uh, Rio Paralympic Games. Toby, very important at this point, nobody should be complaining anymore. Paralympians are special athletes and they deserve special attention. So we've seen what China have uh, channeled into building their uh, special athletes. Hmm. Uh, they, they, they have a very good. Uh, uh, a training center for them. So if you come, most times when we go to the stadium, we see most of the Paralympians uh, the everywhere, uh, the uh, just littering uh, around. Yeah. But for, for, for now, I think the federal government can also institute uh, uh, a job scheme for them. Yes. So that at least it will take them even after the sport. So mm. that each of them, they, 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 they are rewarded with a job employment because most of them do one thing or the other. You, we, we saw the final, we saw. Uh, the, the display of most of the athletes, those who sang. You saw the young man with, uh, with the guitar using his leg to play the basses. A lot of these people are different. So apart from just rewarding them, I'm suggesting five million for gold uh, medalists. You? Three million. Yes, yeah, that's my suggestion. Okay. Because if you look at what they are put into <laughs> preparation for, 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 for four good years, mm. 2012 to this time, Coach Are has won many medals for the country mm. and he's not even recognized. He mm. doesn't have a national honor. Wow. These are the people who have put so much energy. Apart from just being special athletes, they have special needs also. You and I can run around. You and I can, can they, they need, you can just enter the plane. The last time you went to US, you, 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 you went on your own. But this, for them to enter the plane, they yeah, need assistance. assistance. For them to lot, even wear their seat and everything. So yeah. they, and they have a lot of people who are dependent on them. I agree. So 5,000 for gold medalists, 5 million for gold medalists, 3 million for, for silver <laughs> medalists. Two million oh, for bros. They are coming to Toby Emmanuel. One million each. They're going to the 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 We have one in this country. The sports reforms committee, their paper is still hanging. We're waiting for that. But that's the president. So let's see what we have on Twitter. Exactly. We're not going to round up the show without reading the tweets. Professor Chris Naina, you know, he's always watching. That's right. He says he hopes in future media houses in Nigeria will start reporting Ashes, ODIs, and many other cricket tournaments. Obviously, that involves Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm. Um, Nathaniel Mubolade says, I hope the Falcons and the Flamingos will be given the needed support the to excel in various competitions. I mm. mean, those two teams are representing, will be representing Nigeria uh, later this year in uh, their 
various uh, conditions. Okay, I'm still on um, Professor uh, Chris Nina. He says um, we have to sustain the momentum, build more cricket pitches around the country to encourage hmm. further growth in the game. Also, we talked about it. I mean, there's no yeah. development without facilities. That's right. Infrastructure is, uh, must be top notch. Toby, uh, we've been following all that happened at the at the um, cricket pre World Cup qualifiers uh, under 19s. They were in Johannesburg. We spoke to the president. The only way we can get cricket into the mouths of people is proper development. Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we've seen them develop in, in, in privately developed uh, because most of the people who have supported cricket are private investors, mm. and they've created an environment for them to also wanting to show that. But they just need government support and also developmental program. Yeah. Finally, from me, uh, the super Falcons should go to camp. Now. Now. That's that's to says very soon. Now. No, 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 no. To Toby again. Now. 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 <laughs> Super Falcons should be in camp. But now. They because should... the, the, the NFL will actually look at their, their opponents so that okay. they can plan friendly matches towards them. Well, now, so, they the, now they know. Toby, Toby says now, Tyron, and if the Super Falcons, if some of the players are watching and they are packing, where are they going, Toby? <laughs> no, no, definitely the camp will open in Abuja. No, what it, like Kisu said, yeah. we had Kisu, both mm. of us. We were with the Super Falcons in, in Canada 2015 yeah. at the World Cup, and we saw the lamentation of the game. What I they know. need to do now, open the camp in Abuja, put them in their hotel, start training with That's the right. old base players, then they get their fitness level. At the end of the day, mm. the foreign base players come in, and uh, we we'll win our league. That's right. We we'll win the trophy. Toby says the Super Falcons should get to camp now. Thank you so much, Toby, for coming yes, on yes. the program. That's okay, a good way to end yeah, it. Got to go now, Steve. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Tayo Salam. Okay, we'll be back again to talk some more sports. But until then, I'm Austin Okonakman. And everything you do remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now.